Thank you for choosing Cellular Concrete Technologies. Today, we'll be showing you some basic calculations and guide you through our mixed design program. As you open the program, you'll notice there are six tabs. Tab 1 is the Customer Mix tab. This page will walk you through the specifics of your current batch mix design, and when completed, will show you detailed factors such as cost and weight on a per batch basis. The customer mix can be later compared with the CCT mix to show annual savings. Tab 2 is the Customer Details tab. This page will show your complete batch design and can be given to the dispatcher to ensure an accurate mix. No changes will be made to this page with the exception of flow rate. The flow rate is dependent on the type of machine used and that machine's output. Lines 52 and 53 will calculate the runtime variables. Tab 3 is the Customer Analysis tab. This page will give you a full view of used resources, such as air and water, and show a detailed matrix of your mix. Tab 4 is the CCT Mix tab. This page will show you the specifics of our CCT Mix design and calculates amount of air entrainment, cost, and savings. This allows you to adjust your mix to meet your weight and strength requirements on a per-project basis. To calculate your savings, you will need to enter the desired percentage of air entrapped on line 22. Tab 5 is the CCT Details tab. This tab, like the Customer Details tab, will show the complete CCT batch design and can be given to the dispatcher to ensure an accurate mix. Finally, Tab 6 is the CCT Analysis tab. This page, like Tab 3, will give you a full view of used resources such as air and water, and will show a detailed matrix of our CCT mix that can be compared with the Customer Details tab for a visual cost comparison. Now, let's begin. Today we'll be demonstrating a Customer Mix so you'll open the Customer Mix page by clicking on the Customer Mix tab. Starting on line 3, we'll fill out the target desired weight for this batch and enter a customer name to the right. A project name or job ID number can also be used if you prefer. Now on line 4, we'll enter the desired strength for this mix design and add the date to the right. On line 5, Enter the volume of concrete used per year. This can be an estimated amount. It is mainly used to show annual savings when compared to the CCT batch mix. Lines 8 through 11 focus on cementitious material. To the right of these cementitious materials in column K, you will see spaces for pricing. In order to achieve an accurate calculation of savings, you should adjust the pricing to that of your local retailers. On line 8, you'll enter the type of cement being used by number of sacks. On lines 9, 10, and 11, you'll enter the amount of fly ash, silica fume, and metokaolin used. In some cases, you may not use any of this material. If you choose to use something like fly ash or some other cementitious substitute, you can save on cement costs. And as you enter the amount of, for example, fly ash, the mix design program will automatically calculate the amount of cement used in order to reflect the substitution. If you choose not to use any substitution materials, these lines can be left blank. Lines 14 through 16 are for admixture. If you choose to use an admixture, you'll enter the amount of Grace WRDA64 or other admixture on line 14. And on lines 15 and 16, you'll enter the amount of a second or third admixture. When admixtures are used, you'll have to enter the specific gravity and costs to reflect the type of admixture used. Moving forward, on line 19, we'll enter the amount of water being used in the mix by water to cement ratio. Line 22 is for the percentage of entrapped air. If you are using an air entrainment surficant, you'll need to fill in the amount of entrapped air, as well as the specific gravity and cost of that product. You will see, as you adjust the percentage of entrapped air, other variables will automatically change, such as cost, weight, and amount of sand used. If you are not using an air entrainment surficant, leave this row blank.
Lines 25 through 29 reflect the amount and type of arrogant used and will normally vary on a project-to-project -project basis. The costs of these should also be adjusted to pricing for your local area, and in some cases no arrogate will be used. Line 30 is paste volume. The paste volume will automatically be calculated and can be viewed by clicking tab 3 or customer analysis tab. Finally, lines 34 and 35 will show costs per yard and costs per year. You will see, as you change different variables in the calculation, the cost will adjust as needed for accuracy. To the right of lines 34 and 35, you will also see the calculated weight and percentage of air entrapped. These numbers will also adjust as variables in the calculator as you make changes. And that's it. Thanks again for using Cellular Concrete Technologies.